morning everyone we would just like to say thank you for the privilege we um, for to coming into your homes and um, we are doing something new this is a, a new time for us this is my lovely wife Yulandi and I am Ruan um, and we would like to just say thank you for the privilege of bringing the gospel into your homes and um, and we want to remind you uh, that this is this is a challenging time that we are facing but yet this is also an amazing time uh, this is a time not only for resting but this is also a time for reset uh, i believe that uh, it is important for us to to take this time and value uh, what we've been given and uh, what what is at our hands because it's it's so important for us as a church and as, as God's people to uh, manage time in this time. Because it's, uh, for us, it's, it's really um, it is vital that you um, re being reset for your priorities, re being reset for your habits. I mean, we've got 21 days, habits are being reset in 21 days. So this is such a crucial time for you to take advantage and, and change your life and, and really change your life. And, um, um, we can ma we can um, maximize the time that we have. Uh, many people think they wonder what they're going to do with us all period and all this time that they have on their hands. But there is so much you can do. There's so much development that you can do, self-development, um, that you can look at yourself and, and prioritize your life, prioritize, um, like I said, your finances and and prioritize so many things in this time and it's so vital for you to have the right perspective and then you're gonna have the right results after this yeah. yeah yeah I believe something as well that I stick with me a lot so for a couple of weeks is uh, I heard a guy also saying that he on his desk he said that face app that we have on our phones that we joke around with is um, he, he have a, a picture that he actually made himself 80 90 years old and then um, I believe when we look at something like that and that's a picture that he put on his desk and he said that's the guy that he's working for so I, I believe I want to um, encourage you, you to actually find out what God has called you to do uh, because we don't want to get to 80 90 years old and just um, live our life around what what people said and people wanted from us and what what all of that so I believe this is a crucial time for us to actually be able to find out who God made us to be um, and ways we can do that is spending more time with God and actually um, spending more time with ourselves and finding out what we like go doing things around it that we don't often get to do spend a lot of time doing um, also uh, what I think is important to do things that we, do, uh, we don't like to do like exercise, baking, um, reading maybe some of us um, and just to do stuff and uh, take 10, 15, 20 minutes a day to do something that we don't like to do because doing things that we don't like to do we can often learn more out of that than just doing something that's in our comfort zone something that we feel like doing it's, uh, yeah, I believe it's quite important to do things that we don't do every day yeah. and that we don't feel comfortable with. So I encourage you, I really um, bless you to just spend your time and invest your time wisely during this time where it's so easy to just, just um, so I do think it is important as well for us to rest during this time, but also in that rest, just be close to God and He will um, encourage you to spend more time on the things that He has called you for, to take you closer to your purpose. So when this is over, that we don't think um, what now, but that we know where we are moving from this, from here. Thank you. Awesome. And I would like to also just um, say um, tomorrow is our first online service and we would like to join you to, to view and watch us on, online and enjoy the service with us.